everybody. I wanted to do a short video today to keep you from falling into a really common trap that happens when you split um, a column by delimiter. And it's, it's something that I've seen in Power Query. It's happened to me in a bunch of times. And if you're not aware of it, A, it can give you really wrong results. And B, even if you see it, um, it may be really unclear what's going on. Um, and so once you've seen the, the problem and the solution, I think it'll, it'll be immediately recognizable. So what we've got here is we've got a really simple data set of just four rows of country lists delimited by commas. And what we want to do is we want to extract from this entire set the countries that start with the letter M. So we've got Mali, Mexico, and Madagascar. And the way we want to do this is we want to split, we want to split these, um, these rows up by delimiters. So um, we're going to take and we're going to split by delimiter and we're going to split by comma and each occurrence of the delimiter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the advanced here um, and we're going to say split to rows. And the, the thing about this, what you'll see is this then splits each country into its own row rather than splitting it into its own column and then having to unpivot the data. So it saves a step and it's, it's fully dynamic. You don't have to specify the number of rows. So we click here and now we've got a nice countries list. And all we need to do is we need to find the countries that start with them. And so what we could do is we could click here, take select all off, start typing M, and we could select the countries that start with M. The problem with that is that is not going to be dynamic. So if we were later to add Malta or the Marshall Islands um, or Micronesia, um, that's not going to show up in the, in the final result. And so we want to build something a little bit more more dynamic and more durable that can handle any country that gets added in the future that starts with M. So what we can do is we can jump into the advanced editor here and we can add a step that's filter. And what we want to do is we want to do table, select rows. We want to select all the rows of the table from the previous step, which is um, the split column by delimiter step. And then what we want to do here is we want to say each, so for every row, um, text that starts with, and the, the text we're going to, we're going to search on is the countries, um, field countries. And then what we want is we want countries that start with the letter M. And we're just going to create that at the end here in our filter step. And we can see no syntax errors. We should be good to go. And we should, when we hit done, we should expect to see three, um, to see three rows. And we only see one. And why is that? And the answer is, the answer is that if we look at the original text, what we've got here is we've got spaces. So when we split by comma, there's a space. And if you look here after we split, it doesn't look like it. The space doesn't show up. This looks clean, but it's not, um, because it's not recognizing the starts with M because in these, in these instances where we've, we've split in the second or third position, it's starting with a space, even though that space doesn't show. And so how do we fix that? So there's, there's a number of ways we could fix that. So what we could do is we could add a step and we could go to, um, transform and then trim. And what that does, that takes out leading and trailing spaces. So if we add that step in, we get the warning here. So now we've, we've trimmed that text and we want to trim before we filter. And then when we filter, now we get the proper, the proper list. And that, that is, that is dynamic. 
And so let's, let's take a look at two other ways we can do this. Um, if we delete this step, one of the ways we can do it is we can do it directly in the, in the M codes where we've got each text starts with countries. What we can do is before we, we do that, we can say text dot trim, and then we can trim the countries field before we, we take the first letter of it. And if we do that, you'll see now that produces the right result too. And so there's one more really clever way to do this. Um, and what I've done is I've gone ahead and taken out that um, text.trim code. And so if we go here in the filter, we're now, we're now back to seeing just, just the one. And this was a, a technique that Bernat mentioned to me the other day. And I wanted to show it to you because it's just, it's really clever and it's, it's quite applicable in a number of situations. So if we go back to the split by delimiter, what we did is we had, we selected split by comma in the, in the interface. If we, if we click on that, you'll remember this, this dialog box. And what we can do here is actually, we can change this to a custom instead of comma, what we can do is we can say comma space. And when we do that, it'll take out not only the, the comma, but it'll take out the, the, the additional space after the comma. And if we click here and do that, and then jump to our filter step, you'll see now that that does the same thing as trim and returns the, the correct result. So another good way to, to split by delimiter by using that, that custom delimiter with the, the trimmed character as well. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, hopefully it'll, it'll save you from, from that trap. Um, that can be kind of maddening if you, if you've not seen it before and don't know what's going on. Um, so as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.